Hi, writers. I want to give you a reminder that you need to paragraph. Paragraphing is essential in any genre of writing, from narrative to information to argumentative. It's important. It helps your readers follow you and understand what you're trying to say. In an information book, paragraphing helps you to teach. It's like a teaching tool. It's like you taking a pause in a lecture to the class, or maybe changing slides in a presentation, or pivoting on stage during a TED talk. It's essential. It helps you move your topic and your, your ideas forward, and it helps them follow you in a way that will make sense. So here are three things that might help you to recognize places where you need to paragraph or make a new paragraph. When you change subtopics, so when you go from one chapter to the next, but also just from one mini idea to the next. For instance, in my book about cereal, when I go from talking about fun desserts you can make with cereal and also then moving to fun um, crafts you can make with cereal, those will need to have very clearly different parts, but also different paragraphs as they move across. When I change in ideas, so when I'm inside of a, of a chapter or a section, I probably will have more than one idea because we know that information books have more than one idea across the book and also more than one idea often in a chapter or a part. So when I have one another idea coming up inside of a chapter, I need to also make a new paragraph. And then similarly to narrative writing, we wanna change paragraphs when we're changing time, place, or maybe the speaker. Um, so when we're giving new information, we wanna make sure that we're changing. So I thought that we could look at a piece of my own writing and you could help me with this. Okay, so as you can see, this is a chapter for my book. So let's just look, at, look for um, any of these signals so that we know or I know I need to change a new paragraph. So here's my little introduction. I'm gonna skip it and reason that, go to the next part. This is long, right? So if something just feels really, really long, it's probably a good place for you to go back to and just check it out and see, could I do something here to make this shorter or to break it into pieces or to make it easier to follow? That's what I'm gonna do right now. Where can I maybe break it into pieces to signal new paragraphs? Cereal has unique textures, colors, and shapes that can add flavor to any mosaic masterpiece. Okay, so idea, mosaics, masterpieces. Let's just see if I change ideas. Okay, so mosaic masterpieces, all about mosaics, like putting patterns together. And then, and then I change to talking about jewelry. So I think that this probably is going to have to be a new paragraph. So maybe this is a little paragraph. By the way, this the sing, symbol is called a pilcro. Um, writers and editors use it when they want to signal to themselves they're going to make a new paragraph. So I'm going to make those right here on my on my draft. So this is paragraph. This is my intro, paragraph one, and this will be paragraph two. Let's see. Do I change? to um, ideas again, or information. So this is all about patterns, masterpieces, jewelry, jewelry. Ooh, however, crafting isn't all about art. So I'm changing ideas, I think. Consider making a scientific demonstration. Oh yeah, totally different, scientific. So now I think that this probably will be another paragraph. So I use these hints, changing from one subtopic to the next, an idea to the next, or time, place, or new information to the next. You wanna make sure that you're changing paragraphs too. And you also can use these cool little symbols. If you're writing by hand or editing by hand to help you to remember where you'll go back and edit. So I hope that today, Every day you write, you think about paragraphs, especially in your information books when you're trying to teach your readers. Use paragraphs to help you do that to the best of your ability.